New research in environmental health science has identified a key protein that could lead to new therapies for Parkinson's disease and other deadly brain conditions. Parkinson's disease is a devastating disease that currently has no treatment to help stop the disease progression. And this disease is particularly close to my heart because my late grandmother passed away from Parkinson's with dementia. So therefore, um, I'm very interested in Parkinson's disease research in hope of coming up with a treatment that can one day hopefully stop this disease from progressing. The new research has focused on the role of mitochondria, the powerhouses inside cells that drive the cell's biochemical reactions. Mitochondria are dynamic structures within cells that constantly change in size, number, and location to meet various needs. But if something goes wrong with the mitochondria, it can cause big problems. When damaged, mitochondria can stop working properly, which can lead to cell damage and even cell death. This is what happens in diseases like Parkinson's. In order to stop the disease progression, we need to protect those neurons in our brain from dying. To do that in our lab, we use models of Parkinson's disease that were induced by either environmental toxins or toxic proteins associated with the disease. Researchers found that environmental toxins, such as poisons in the air, water, or food, and certain harmful proteins in the brain, can interfere with how mitochondria work. When that happens, the mitochondria break into tiny pieces and the cell gets stressed. This stress can make the harmful proteins pile up even more, which leads to brain cells dying. Researchers discovered a protein called DRP1 that controls how mitochondria change and behave. We found by targeting the P1, not only were we able to protect mitochondria function, we also saw the removal of all the toxic proteins, which indicates that the waste recycling system inside the cells are functional again by targeting the P1. These findings suggest that targeting DRP1 could be a new therapeutic approach for Parkinson's. Researchers are now testing FDA-approved compounds that affect DRP1 as potential treatments.